Hey everyone, I wanted to get on here today to talk a little bit about how judgment and, you know, judging others can affect yourself on your spiritual path. So let's get to it. So when we are viewing other people and other beings out here in this system and we're actually looking at people and going about our experiences, you know, there's a little bit of that judgment judgment that we do for people we see how they're doing things and we judge you know whether it's right whether it's wrong what are they doing that's better than us worse than us and we actually start coming to these different conclusions of how life should be but if you really start walking your path and start understanding what's going on out here you'll start to realize that when you start judging people and having judgment for what others are doing, you're actually limiting your mindset and limiting your beliefs and limiting the things that you can do out here. Because once you start to understand that, you know, everybody has their perspective, everybody has how they're going to think about things, how they're going to understand things and how they're actually going to go about this world. You know, then you can understand that, hey, this is how, you know, there's these different elements of what we do in this world. These are the different elements of, you know, the mental aspect of the world, spiritual aspects of the world. There's different elements to all of this. There's not just one aspect of everything. There's you no, know, everything is multifaceted. You know, everything, you no know, comes from one and one begets all, you know. So you have to understand that there's going to be different elements and different perspectives and different understandings and different, you know, basically knowledge that you can get out here in this system. So by, you know, having that judgment for others, you start to realize that you are missing out on part of the whole and that limits, you know, your ability to be able to see, you know, the bigger picture because, you know, let's I'll use the example of if you're looking at something over a fence and you're like, oh, that looks really nice right there. But then if you get closer and then you actually look underneath the fence there, you'd be like, oh, man, now you see that there's a whole bunch of dead grass or there's dead animals or there. it just doesn't look, you know, appealing to the eye. But, you know, if you were looking farther away, you're like, oh, that looks good or it doesn't look good. But then you realize that, hey, even in that right there, yeah, there's dead grass and there's different things going on in the yard but you know what's going to happen from there you know that dead grass and the, and the dead animals and stuff is end up going to end up nourishing the ground nourishing the soil to where different things can actually grow from it so you can't take something to say that oh it's necessarily bad no that person's perspective is bad that person's perspective you know is you no know, not you know what is aligned with um you know, the truth because everybody's truth is different what everybody feels is going to be different. And you have to understand that these different perspectives are out here and they're out there to be able to give you different understandings of what you know. Because, you know, when you start thinking about religion, people start talking about, you know, certain religions and they start talking about different aspects of that religion. But then if you go to a different religion and you look at the different aspects that they're talking about there, you'll start to see that there's a lot of similarities. Yes, there is differences, but then those differences can also help you to understand, better understand whatever you believe in. In. I'm not telling anybody not to believe in something because everybody has their own belief system. Everybody has their own you know, perception and understanding of what they're doing in the system. What I'm saying is that you can start to see from these different perspectives a little bit more of where you're coming from. This is all the learning journey. This is all learning experience that we have as we go along this journey and we go through this system. So if you are always you know, judging someone or having judgment on something, you start to miss some of the bigger aspects of things you start to miss some of the beauty that is actually out here because you don't see the full picture because you're cutting yourself off from a whole different line of information the whole different you no know, um, section of information that's in the system so you have to go be able to go about things to understand it on a deeper level understand things on a more comprehensive level i'm sorry you guys it's getting a little windy out here but um even with that you know you know, there's going to be things that are passing by. So, you know, and there's going to be times where, you know, what you're doing, what you're seeing is going to be so loud. It's going to be blowing away, you know, those different ideas from you to be able to hear it, from you to be able to see it. And you have to keep pushing through it. You have to see that, hey, you know, the wind that's coming from one area is now traveled over here, but it's all the same wind. It's all the same air. You know, it just has different elements and different things that have been put into it from the different areas. So you have to understand that, you know, when energy is transformed, when energy goes from one place to another, you know, it is still that same energy. You know, it's just now in a different place. It's a different perspective, you know. So the same wind that came from the ocean, 
no, yesterday has blown here and now all that moisture is has has evaporated and now it's a little bit drier. You know, it's less humid, you know, in this part of the world. And you'll be like, okay, so it's still the same air, but now it has different elements to it. So when you start looking at it that way, you know, you can see that from judging others and having that judgment, you're actually missing out on a major aspect of the system, a major aspect of this world. And that you can't understand fully what's going on if you're missing out on certain aspects and certain you know, details of the information. You know, even, you know, places have their, their law systems and everything. And we're going through to court and you're going through trials and stuff. You no, know, they say, OK, let's get the evidence. Let's see what's in the details, the facts. And let's boil down to it. And they see where it's actually coming from. Because the same um, same thing that, you know, the prosecution says is something that's going to be something against the defendant. When the defendant says it, depending on their perspective and how they put it, it could be the same thing that can win them the case. So you have to understand that everybody has their different perspective. And it's not that necessarily they're wrong or, the other, or you're right. You know, it's just that it's a different perspective. And you have to be able to accept that. Because if we don't accept it, then we cut that, self, cut that part of, of ourselves off from ourselves. We have to be able to see that there's all these different aspects of the world, all these different aspects of ourselves. And if we can't see this and we can't accept it, then how are we going to you know, accept the growth that we are having within ourselves? How are we going to accept the growth of the world around us? How are we going to accept the growth of all the different ideas and things that are going on? You have to be able to understand that at one point, you know, people thought the, the, um, the world was flat. You know, there's still some people who think that way, which is not wrong. You know, and then... You know, later on, they say the world is round. You know, there's people that you know, used to say, oh, smoking cigarettes isn't, isn't harmful. It's not going to do anything. Now they say smoking cigarettes is going to give you cancer. You know, it's more information as you go along. You know, if you completely cut yourself off from a certain line of information, a certain line of thought, then you would have missed out on a whole different um, understanding of that. You would have missed out on something that could have actually been beneficial to you. You're going to miss out on something that could have actually helped you grow and actually, you know, propel yourself on your path. So you can't be out here. And when I say you can't, I'm not saying that, no, don't do it because, you know, you can do whatever you want. No, that's the beauty of free will. It, what I'm saying is if you choose to judge somebody else, you choose to judge something that's going on outside of yourself or even something that's going on within yourself. No, you're going to start to realize that you're missing out on a bigger picture. You're missing out on different things. And once you start missing out on these little details, then it's going to start to be harder for you to understand you know, the bigger picture as it comes along because you won't understand some of the more minute details. You know, if we think about quantum physics, they talk about some of the biggest things and the biggest reactions in this world happen from some of the smallest things, some of the smallest cells. So you have to understand you know, the microcosm you know, affects the macrocosm. So... By missing out on some of those smaller details, we won't see some of the bigger details. Missing out on some of the bigger details won't let us see some of the smaller details and vice versa. See, and there goes that perspective. There goes, you know, being able to accept you know, something that you might not necessarily believe is true. But then you can see that, okay, that is a piece of knowledge that is out there. And how does that affect me? How does that affect the journey that I'm on? How does it affect the knowledge that I'm, I'm acquiring? And then you can, you know, basically cross-reference that in order to see, you know, where you're coming from and get a bigger perspective of things. Because as you're going through this journey, there's going to be people who are judging you. There's going to be, you know, things that are judging you because everybody has that within them because, you know, people want to see, say that what they're doing is right, somebody else is wrong. And, you no, know, it's just a part of human nature to want to, you know, say that, you know, what you're doing is right. What you're doing is going along the right path. But if you keep going along that train of thought you start to miss out on some of the other details now you don't have to you know agree with it but you do have to accept that that is something that's out there you have to accept that that is a different perspective that is out there you don't have to necessarily agree with it but once you at least accept it then you open yourself up to at least you know know that there is other possibilities because that's the main thing is as you're judging things you're limiting your possibilities you're limiting the options that you have in this system, the options that you have in this world to understand more things. So you have to be able to understand that as you go along on your journey, you no, know, and you actually start to, you know, take away some of that judgment, take away, you know, some of that, you know, limiting beliefs, limiting a mindset, limiting perspectives on the world. You'll start to open up, you know, so many more possibilities. 
you start to open up so many more ideas, so many more opportunities that you can take because now you're starting to think in a different way. You know, that's how people say, you know, you got to think outside of the box because once your mentality, your perspective gets boxed in, you no longer can see anything. And this, you know, for people who I have studied theology and stuff, you see, you know, Plato's myth of the cave, you know, when somebody when all the people were in the cave and they saw all the shadows on the wall and everything, but then there was the world, you know, that was outside of the cave. There was the world, you know, of the people, of the puppeteers that were out there, you know, in, you know, chi in, I'm not going to say Chinese, but in, in Asian culture, there's, you know, the, a saying of, you know, the frog in the bottom of the well. You know, all you all you're able to see is that little part of the sky, you know, from the bottom of the well. You're not able to see, you know, the wider perspective because now you're so focused on saying, okay, no, that's that's all there is because that's all I've ever seen. That's all I've ever known. And to go about life that way limits your your possibilities and limits your ability to actually grow and learn, which is the main reason why we're here is to grow and learn from everything that we have, grow and learn from all the experiences that we have. So just take some time and actually think about it and think about, you know, whether or not you're actually judging somebody, whether or not you're judging yourself, you know, and in that judgment, because it's going to happen, it's part of human nature. But within that judgment, even though that you're judging, are you at least accepting these different perspectives? I didn't say you have to agree with them, but are you at least accepting them and accepting that there is a possibility out there? Because, you know, there is limitless possibilities of this world. There's limitless ideas. And that's the only way that we could keep continuing to grow and learn in the system. So just take some time and, hey, you might find something out.